guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Empires. Last time I built this huge castle rising from the sea and I temporarily named it Struggle Tower because it was very difficult to build. But luckily I got so many good suggestions for what to name this place in the comments and my favourite suggestion, the one I have chosen, is the Prisma Palace. But in order for this place to be deserving of such a fabulous name, I think I need to fix a few of the issues around here. First of all, we have a bit of a leaky ceiling. But instead of just covering this up, I've come up with an idea. First of all, I'm going to start by making a huge hole. And somehow in this hole, I'm going to put some soul sand down. Can you tell where we're going with this? Yes, that's right. We're going up with a bubble elevator. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna put some sea pickles down for light and let's block this off with some prismarine. So now we have this tube all the way up to my roof but I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit nicer so three days later okay now let's light this up a little bit in a way that isn't ugly torches okay so I've got some sea lanterns and oh my goodness, they are just perfect little lanterns of light for me. In fact, speaking of lanterns, I think soul lanterns would really go with this color scheme. So, I'm just going to take a little shortcut off the tower. Don't worry about me. And I'm going to craft some lanterns of the soul variety. Ta-da! And we can add these on top of all the sea lanterns. But we also need some light up there too. So from the ceiling here, I'm going to hang some chains with some sea lanterns and soul lanterns. And just before nightfall, we have finished the hanging lanterns. And they look so pretty against the night sky. Oh, I like to imagine that in every single one of these lanterns is a fish's soul. This one was a puffer fish called Barry. And this one was a little innocent codfish called Wendy, who got trapped in my guardian farm and perished. Now this place is really starting to live up to its Prisma Palace title, but I think we could do something a little spicier with the floor. So I removed all of my precious quartz blocks and then I replaced it with this mixture of prismarine blocks. And finally, for a finishing touch, I made a little decorative trim around the edges of the platform out of warped wood. So now my palace is like a shrine to the beauty of prismarine. The next thing I'm going to work on is my tube, because up here we can get into the roof cavity. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Well, that's one more fish soul captured by the soul lanterns. Now, currently, this roof area is super dark and ugly, but we're about to make it the most amazing axolotl habitat you have ever seen. But first, we need to light this up. So I've got my sea pickles here, and they give a beautiful glow. But unfortunately, we're gonna need more than nine to illuminate this whole place. So I have once again traveled all the way to the coral reef to grow some sea pickles. So just keep doing this over and over again. I now have a little sea pickle factory for unlimited sea pickles. Two hours later. One eternity later. Now I have more sea pickles than any reasonable person would ever need. I can light this baby up. <gasps> it's amazing! And this fish is having a great time. But I think it would be kind of cool and enriching for my axolotls if there were some structures in here. So I'm going to build some rock structures like this. And then I'm going to put some sea pickles on it. And finally, some coral. It's so beautiful. Okay, now more. Let's also do some bone meal to get some seagrass for my axolotls. Okay, this is looking really cute, but I actually think the axolotls might like somewhere dark to hide, so I have an idea. Over here, I'm going to build a sort of cavey thing. And now for my piece de resistance, I'm going to fill this cavern with beautiful amethyst. It's like a geode. Perfect. Ah! Now my axolotls have everything they need to thrive in here. And now for the moment of truth, I will release Lady Marceline and Sir Strawberry. Oh, 
Look at them go. Just exploring. Oh, he's exploring the cave. That is precious. Guys, I think they love it. And my dream is to have a whole army of axolotls in here. So in order to make that happen, I need to breed them with tropical fish. Now, there are no tropical fish within 7,000 nautical miles of my ocean empire, so... We must go back to the coral reef again. But this time, I have an intelligent plan. Ta-da! My seafaring llama will help me transport nine extra things. And now I'm fully laden with buckets. Once again, I can make the long journey to the coral reef. Luckily, I have created a little canal to make my journey to the coral reef much faster. Oh no, oh that bit's unsafe. But the canal's not finished, so we must make some of the journey by land. Luckily, he's no one-trick pony. This is a two-trick llama. He can do land and sea travel. So now we get him back in the boat, and we're good to go. Oh, I just saw my first tropical fish. Here they are. Yes, nothing but the best for my axolotl babies. Oh geez, this is kind of like the plot of Finding Nemo. But I'm the bad guy. Oh well, there we go. The most tropical fish I could possibly carry. So I just feed each of them a fish and now they should breed. Come on, you know you want to. <gasps> mm, so cute. That's illegal, that's illegal, it shouldn't be allowed to be that cute. So now all I have to do is keep breeding these axolotls and my ultimate goal is to breed the super rare blue axolotl, which is a one in 12,000 chance. But it is prophesized that the blue axolotl is the heir to my throne and he will inherit the empire. So hopefully he arrives sometime soon. In the meanwhile, we have some other things to be getting on with in my empire because as you can see, all the bees have died. Not a single bee remains. I think it might be something to do with all this water here and that the bees may have drowned. So I was about to give up on bees, but my good friend Donnie Bobes created this axolotl bee hybrid for me and it gave me an idea. But first, we're gonna need a makeover for this place. So let's start from scratch. I'm turning this into a bee sanctuary where hopefully they won't be able to escape. So I'm gonna add these bushes and I'm going to add a canopy because bees are foolish and I cannot trust them to keep themselves alive. I now present my hybrid bee. Look how cute this is, it's like a little fairy. Oh wait, they need some flowers. But instead of collecting them all myself, I think this would be the perfect opportunity to visit Catherine of House Blossom. Hello. Hello, Ocean Queen. Ocean's blessings to you today. What brings you to House Blossom? I'm here to make an offering at your fountain. Oh, okay, the fountain is right over this way. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Leave tribute to gain permission from the overgrown. So if I make a tribute, I can mm -hmm. pick flowers? Yes. Well, you're about to be tributed. Ta-da! Ah, glorious, thank you. This is actually very convenient because I, I had something to give to you. <gasps> this oh. is a box of friendship. Oh, wait a second. Is mm -hmm. this all for me? Mm-hmm. Would you like to become allies? Oh, I see, I, I don't know about that. You know, the queen of the ocean, she doesn't really have any allies right now. What does your alliance mean to me? I'll help you with whatever you need. Are you willing to help me slay all my enemies? Well, you see, I've been really trying to stay neutral with everybody. Or maybe you could be my spy on the land. Ooh, I could do that. Yeah, I'm so far out at sea, it's really hard to keep up with what's going on. Okay. I accept your alliance. Now, there is one thing to make it official. Would you happen to have any mob heads that you don't want? I, I don't tend to carry them around with me because that's a little mm. bit creepy, but I do have it, a small it, it collection. Is. Oh, well, if you have anything from the ocean, I'll take that. Let me travel back to my empire and I will return with some heads. When I arrived back home, I had a quick look at my collection and I realized I had nothing of value. So I frantically went on a search for some ocean creatures heads to offer to Catherine. With my dolphin in tow to give me extra speed, I started slaying squid and I quickly obtained this ugly squid head. Then I went after more exotic prey. The elusive glow squid spawned down in these dark caverns. And while it was difficult to kill them without dying, after 22 kills, I obtained <gasps> the cutest head I have ever seen. And finally, I won't describe what I did next, but let's just say I somehow obtained a dolphin head and I had to take a boat home. Hello. 
welcome. Ocean's greetings to you again. I have brought some sacrifice. I mean, some gifts oh. for you. Ooh. So I have three heads for your collection. The first mm -hmm. is this squid head. Beautiful. The second is a dolphin <gasps> head. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> and the third and final, perhaps the best, is this glow squid head. No way! This is amazing! Okay, okay, um, as a sign of trust, um, do you want to know a secret? Uh, yes, please. Okay, come this way. This is the <gasps> spring. Whoa! Wow, this is so cute! Um, wow. so if you would like to use it, you can use it. I, I will. What can I do with it? Go over there and smack that note block. Wait, what? This one. Oh, oh god, help! Land is attacking me! <laughs> What just happened? And now you may collect. You made life. Yes. Wow, this is perfect. I can get all kinds of flowers from this. Uh-huh. <gasps> Thank you very much. Now we have these beautiful new flowers for my hybrid bees. And this place is looking so cute. Oh, and Catherine gave me this house blossom banner. So I'm gonna display that in here too. So now I have my flying axolotl hybrids. And my growing army of axolotls. That is the end of this episode of Empires. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.